YouTube, I have another video, uh, few packages from eBay to open up. And, I don't know, I mean, look, he's, he's signing, this so, is the thing, um, right? back in January, uh, he signed a very big contract here. extension, so, United are running a business, um, the first you know, for better or worse, they've uh, lost one game. So, uh, unless Mourinho wants to somehow get himself fired, if he sticks around as long as he keeps them floating so, uh, uh, in, in, in the top four and, and, and maybe they make a run in Europe, um, I, I can't see United coming out uh, and, uh, and, so and, and, and firing you. So, I think necessarily so the situation is going to improve. It, it has to improve. But, um, you know, this is classic third season uh, issues with, uh, with, with United. Have you ever assisted on a goal, and was it better than Edison? Check it, one. I have once. Oh, Tell us about boy. it. And all, all its lovely oh, details. Lord. I have once. Right. Who from Newcastle? Newcastle. It was <laughs> so Aston got, Villa. I think it was, uh, it was Villa Park. Right. Synergy. Um, don't play like you don't know. It's not like you had a, a thousand assists in your career. You well, had I'm one, so. I'm trying to pick the best one. <laughs> I'm trying to pick the best like, one off. I remember it might have been Villa Park. Oh, no. Remember correctly. Come on, man. Well, it was, it wasn't a full kick, I can say that much. Um, Glory ball to the box, over the top for Les Ferdinand. Nobody could stop Les Ferdinand in those circumstances. One nil. So did you mean for that ball to yes. go where it went? Yes. Or you just hitting it yes. and then hope no, it Absolutely. Comes absolutely. Oh, wow. Les and I had a thing. Oh. You had a thing. <laughs> what was the, uh, the thing? What is that thing? And if it was such a good thing, why don't only ever went once? Well, good question. Yeah. Uh, right, well, so I would put my kicks a certain distance every single time. Or, you know, thereabouts. And then once, because it's Les, a, like them hung uh, up, he likes to challenge. Uh, and then when I give him the eyes, <laughs> like that, card, I could shiny. drill it a little flatter and he would Another run. Another Travis Konechny. But you had to Blue draw the defense out for that to happen. Once. Huh? <laughs> well, well, he kept missing the he others. He missed the others. Didn't he? <laughs> he kept missing empty goals. He didn't see the sign. He didn't see the sign. Okay. So I, I, I gave him the order. I gave him the order. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that. And he just kept. Oh. He yeah, just kept with it. What is communication? Gab, do you do you agree with him? Lovely details. And once. Who from Newcastle? Very cards here. Aston Villa. I think it was Villa Park. Right. Um. Uh, don't play uh, like you don't know. It's not like you had a, a thousand assists in your career. You had uh, one, so. I'm trying to pick, you know, I'm trying to pick the best one. I'm trying to pick the best one. I remember it might have been Villa Park, or I don't know. I don't remember correctly. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, it so was, we have, uh, was, it wasn't a full kick, I can say that much. Um, no, ball to the edge of the box, over the top for Les Ferdinand. Nobody could stop Les Ferdinand in those circumstances. So did you mean yeah, for that ball to yes. go where it went? Yes, yes. just hit it. Yes. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Les and I had a thing. Oh. You had a thing. <laughs> what was the thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? And if it was such a good uh, thing, why don't only ever work? Zero. Uh, well, Nathan McKinnon, sub zero. How much time do you have? All right, well, it's I would put cool. my kicks a certain distance every single time. Or, you know, nice their balls. Here. And then once, because Les, like them hung up, he liked to challenge. And then right, when I give so him the eyes, like that, that, that up I package. could drill it a little flatter and he would run on. But you had so to this draw the defense out for that. Um, high once. level Alberta. Huh? Well, well, he kept missing the others. He missed the others, didn't he? <laughs> he kept he missing got, empty goals. He didn't see a sign. He didn't see a sign. Right. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I give him the order. I give him the order. Like that. Yeah. Like that. And he just kept. Oh, he just kept yeah. winning. Great communication. I am. Yeah. Uh, Gab, do you do you agree on their title defence at home against Huddersfield Town, winning by six goals to one, fresh from the victory over Arsenal last week? Pep Guardiola's team goes from strength to strength. Janic is a hat trick for Sergio Aguero. David Silva scoring on his 250th appearance is an amazing goal. Six of them. Uh, appointment television, right? You have to watch it. I don't care what the end score, and maybe there's no competition like we saw against Huddersfield, but they've not missed a beat, uh, no matter who's on the pitch, right? The blueprint doesn't change right. so and is executed got, got well 99% uh, of the time. You know, it's great to trust your teammates, to understand how good they are, because it seems to me at times that, you know, when, when you're informed like that and you know that the player next to you is capable 
of pulling Let's off see. almost anything. You almost look for these uh, uh, plays that are, that are harder that than they need to be because because you trust them. You know how good they are. Normally, each team has maybe one, maybe two players that you know during hard times that you know they can pull a ra Next. rabbit out out of a hat. Right? This team has what seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Even if they play badly, you always know that somebody's going to come good. Exceptional to watch. And even in the week where they lost Kevin De Bruyne for three months, uh, supposedly. Now, taking a look at that team, they had a great start last year. Obviously, besides the, the draw against Everton, going on that phenomenal winning run. Oh. Look at what they've got in front of them in the next five weeks before they have to come up against Liverpool. They are the only member of the so-called top six city who do not have to play another member of the top six in those five matches. Well, you look at, at that, and after seven games, I mean, you know, this is one of the few teams that on paper can beat any of them. And you feel comfortable, right? Uh, so you see Manchester United already. They've dropped done. points against that sort of team. Uh, but for Manchester City, you know, you often talk lot, about, lot, you know, it's not a sprint, kind of it's a marathon. That's not the case when you have a team like National Manchester City. We saw it in, with Chelsea a couple of years ago in October when they had that run. You know, and I looked at them last season, and you say 100 points, 19 games unbeaten. And I'm saying to myself, impossible to replicate that. But I wonder. I think they could. Not but sure the bottom line, Ross, is game. that after those seven games These or maybe ten games, they already may have a gap that at that stage right. will be saying, forget about it, that's over. And you think uh, that that would obviously help them in the Champions League, but it's, it's a massive challenge for them to keep up this kind of quality throughout the whole of that challenge between Premier League and Champions League, even if they get a sizable lead in the Premier League. Yeah, but look at the luxury this sort of run already, two games, affords Pep Guardiola in terms of rotations and getting players involved. Uh, you look at on the bench today, Maris, Sané, Otamendi, Sterling, Walker, Foden, right? I mean... So now you can you have two games, you look at the schedule and you say, we're capable of getting three points Here. against the next five opponents, right? Uh, Simply. And you can rotate that. So it comes cards, Christmas time, National comes hockey. January, February, where, remember, the, Manchester uh, City National struggled with injuries day, last season. Right? They got it through, but, you know, uh, this is almost perfect because Pep was forced... To, to do that, right? Just because of the World Cup, Gretzky. he knew that some players needed time. Uh, so, so that luxury, if they run the table in the next four or five weeks, uh, I think it benefits them, no? It's looking very good for them, certainly, just after two and games or so. But uh, it's worth mentioning, 100 points last year against Huddersfield at home, they dropped two. So they're already better in what they did last year. So this is An incredible repeat Augusti. win for Brighton and Hove Albion against season. Manchester United at Let's home, the same as they did last year, but this time that, by a margin of three goals to so two. It wasn't that close, Yanish, even though Manchester Messi United got the late consolation. Place. For most of that match, Let's United going forward were a non-spectacle. And, and you know what? The worst part for United Jesse is that uh, you could sense the Brighton belief from the get-go, right? The days of Losing to United in the tunnel are long gone. And that, that's David the unfortunate Hatchet. part. I think you have teams that are playing Mitch out against United and saying, yeah, we, we can get this, because they Winner, see what's happening Maroon, there. It's Kruger, the negative Patrick, identity that Benning, Manchester United Kruger, have. Goal, players playing with fear. Saddle, you can question the quality of the Winner, squad. Uh, certainly it's easy to put a lot of it on, on Jose Mourinho. Sure. But I think you have to look at the players as well. I mean, yes, it's one thing to That's play with fear. Cool. Yes, maybe another thing is to say... Uh, look, um, I, I, our manager so doesn't trust us, doesn't think we're good enough, right? So, because we've um, heard that. But at the end of the day, if you truly packages. believe that there's world-class players on this team, they've got to show it against so all the I'll odds, against anything. From, I mean, um, at the end of the day, you play for yourself, you play for pride, you want to be talked about. Who knows, one day Jay you want to be considered as one of the best, maybe if you have to move on elsewhere. And I look at this team, and, and Brighton put them under pressure. I mean, fear in their eyes, the back four, inability to break pressure, very few chances. Think about it. I mean, Lukaku, maybe the game changes in the 10th minute when he scores that goal, he had that chance. But for the most part, he had a couple of chances. Other than that, even in the second half, when Manchester United started bright, Possession, but no chances for the most part. Is it more psychological than technical then, would you say? Because basically the centre-back pairing of Bailly and Lindelof were, were given a run-around by a 34-year-old veteran in Glenn Murray. Yeah, lack of quality, uh, that is for sure. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's the fear. I mean, the confidence is, is everything, right? This is Manchester United that, you know, you look at left back. I mean, people are talking about Luke Shaw. Look, I want him to do well. I know it hasn't been easy for him in terms of injury. 
And in terms of his manager and not backing him, but if you look at all the teams, left backs, you look at Benjamin so here, Mendy, uh, you look at Robertson at Liverpool, with, uh, you look at, Patrick you know, Lua. even Ben Davies, you know, so anybody this is the else. Team I mean, set do you think Luke Shaw for, is at the same level? I don't, uh, right? And you can McDonald's, go elsewhere. Look at Paul Pogba. I was a big fan of him at Juventus. Uh, but card. You have to, you have to believe. Please tell me yeah, that you think set, he's capable of doing more. Madonna's, whatever you think of the relationship the between him and Mourinho, I don't see it. I mean, who took the responsibility on their shoulders today Eric in the center Lindros, of the pitch? Fred, Fred wanted the ball. Set. He was in the thick of things. Good passing, at least wanting that ball. I didn't see Paul Pogba doing that. Marshall, I look at his body language. I don't like it. He can fix that. Yeah, it's not easy under Mourinho, but he can fix that himself. Rashford, nothing special. Lingard came in, didn't change the game. It's just all around lack of belief. Can that be fixed by Mourinho with a 180 turn? Is is that even likely? I don't think so. Well, uh, it depends right, what you, so you know how here. what you think they can do this so season. I, I think Eric they can Wendell be in the top set. four, but uh, I don't think you can get much Eric more Wendell from that team than you're seeing Blue right Jays, now. Again. Fellaini goes on the sideline. What do you think? It's negative. Uh, They're probably behind Jamie because he's coming in for the most part. You know, sometimes he comes in to, to close the deal, if you will. But, I mean, the game I'll changes, just, right? Uh, you talk about cat, Manchester United okay. when, when Fellaini comes in in the second half and ever balls off. That's and, not the uh, mentality uh, that set. I know from Manchester Got United. Me. But I'm old. We're getting older, I should say. It's certainly growing time now. It's certainly been under three managers that Fellaini seems to be a very go-to plan B. It happened today for Manchester United, but the result went against them. Full credit to Brighton. Brilliant performance from them, helping their course for the season. We'll see what Manchester United can do in the next game. It is Tottenham Hotspur. So, that's pretty cool. I've got one more package here, this one. This from uh, all the way from uh, Australia. So let's check this out. Maybe in the next 24, 48 hours or so, Sam and say, told you, we're short. Or did that have nothing to do with a lack of summer recruits? He could, he could well say that in his defence, but, you know, he, Woodward could turn around and say, but what, what's your training like, having a, having a team playing like that for Man United? So, it's, it's got to be your responsibility. You've got to shoulder, shoulder responsibility as a manager for that performance, for sure, the manager. And uh, you've got to do whatever it takes to sort that out immediately by the next game and not to see that type of performance for the rest of this season because that's far you, know, you can lose a game of football yeah. any time even Manchester United even Man City can lose a game of football any time but you can't lose a game of football like that where Brighton have right. outplayed you so had more shots more chances good. more crosses yeah. more action in the final third yeah. I think Andy were telling me that before this call they barely had one shot on target and that was the goal and this is Manchester United we're talking about playing Brighton who just stayed up last season by the skin of the teeth and uh, yeah. it is you know I've got a lot of, a lot of mates who are Man United fans and, and they will be you know devastated by what they've said are they today. fed up with him now just, they, they, they're not happy with the, the the style of football you know and and if you it's like everything else if, if Man United are winning and it's with the style of football and that they're not quite used to and they're winning have, uh, all fans here. will go along That's with it but at the moment they're not winning they're not challenging they're not going to challenge for the having seen it's that before, you know uh, could we honestly see them challenging for the title this year what after about that top four well it, well it might even be that might I mean I think the new manager at Arsenal there's a new manager at Chelsea so it, that might be, that might help them to finish in the top four but he's got to sort his own house out yeah, yes. at the minute he has to sort his own house out and he has to look at it himself and look at his staff and right, and so you know he'll go home tonight he'll be bitterly disappointed and extremely right. worried right. about yeah. how to put it right because that's what you do as a manager he'll that's, be the man uh, losing more right. sleep than anybody right. else believe you me we will come back to it with one game to come from match day two Brighton's win today lifts them virtually halfway 
City went top after thumping Huddersfield earlier. Uh, they slipped bottom on goal difference. Manchester United down on the weekend into 10th. See City's goals shortly. Also, to show you what happened at Turf Moor where Watford beat. Match next for Manchester first. United because what we saw today is not good enough. Is you know, the, the, I think Man United fans are, are, are just sitting here thinking about what, what's happened the last few years. Not just what's happening now, but three years ago, two of the best when managers of world football turned up in Manchester, right, to manage the two giants of Manchester. Three years ago now, right? They were they, one picked up Man City, finished fourth with 66 points. Right. One picked up Manchester United to finish fifth with 66 points. Well, now you look at the journey both have made since then. City have gone that way by some distance, and United have well stood still. Are Would that be fair? You? Well, he finished second last year. He's won two trophies, he's so you'd have to concede well, that no, he's no. made progress. And Do you think progress? No, it's a recruitment so policy goes, of uh, every manager is critical. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, the recruitment and, uh, policy of Manchester City down below, by and, uh, a long way guys, was uh, see you guys, uh, far next time. better.